Well, my level's all right, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm just a pro, and I always want to make sure I can be heard. Hey, everyone, it's Jack. You just caught me there in a bit of a bit of a behind the scenes, bit of, bit of checks before the fast count, but this is the fast count. Now let's get ready for some news. So first things first, let's start off with all of this week's WWE news. Bray Wyatt is the new WWE champion and his first time reign as well. He won at Elimination Chamber, last eliminating AJ Styles. And as I say, he is in his first reign as WWE champion. Will there be multiple reigns? Will it just be the one reign? You all know this news anyway, so instead I'm going to hit you with some facts. Are you ready? He's the 49th champion ever, so whoever's the next new champion, that, that's just the 49th unique champion. So whoever's the next champion who's never been champion before will be the 50th, and won't that be lovely? Who could it be? Will it, who do you think, who could it be? The 50th one. Baron Corbin, maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, so to celebrate, I'm going to read off every other person who's had one, just the one reign. Are you ready? AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, Rey Mysterio, The Miz, Kane, do you remember Kane when he had it for one day? Not the other reign, that was for the World Heavyweight Championship. Jeff Hardy, uh, JBL, Rob Van Dam, Eddie Guerrero, Chris Jericho, Vince McMahon, uh, Diesel, Sergeant Slaughter, The Ultimate Warrior, Andre, The Giant, The Iron Sheik, Superstar Billy Graham, Stan Stasiak, Pedro Morales, Ivan Kolov, or Ivan, I've never known how to pronounce that. Ivan, Ivan Kolov, he's actually Canadian. And uh, the inaugural champion, Buddy Rogers. The nature boy, Buddy Rogers. Lovely. It was an action-packed Monday Night Raw. Uh, Bailey won the Women's Championship. Uh, Chris, Jericho and Kevin Owens had one of the best received breakup angles ever. It's right up there with Jannetty and Michaels. And perhaps most intriguingly, no, that's a, that's a f***ing lie, least intriguingly of all, Emma finally re-debuted as Emmalina and then immediately said, now you'll witness the transformation of Emmalina back to Emma. That, what? Well, luckily, there's rumors floating around as to why. Ryan Satin of Pro Wrestling Sheet is reporting that apparently Emelina was supposed to be kind of a throwback gimmick to Sable and the Cat and those sort of, well, I mean, divas, I get like very 90s tits. And <laughs> yeah, it was gonna be a throwback one, which I don't know if it's the best idea in this current era of like fantastic women's wrestling to go back to a character who's all about her looks and her body, you know. Um, and apparently the reason is that Emma wasn't fully committing to the character backstage in rehearsal and eventually on the night they just decided, you know what, scrap it, we'll just go back to the original Emma character. But apparently they're very keen on it and they may reuse it under a different name, the gimmick, for someone else. And it's not one that I'm too excited about seeing really. I, I hope, I, personally, I hope these rumours aren't true. But if they are, uh, what have, have WWE learned? Have they learned nothing? Have they learned nothing? And finally, Nicole Bass has sadly passed away. Uh, she was best known for her time in ECW and in the WWF in the 90s where she was kind of a powerhouse of the division. She'd throw around uh, the other women on the roster and she could throw around quite a lot of the men as well. She will be greatly missed and she was 52 years old. Now it's time for all the news from elsewhere in the world of wrestling and we start in TNA where Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards, former tag partners and former Ring of Honor World Champions alike, both of them had a reign, uh, they had a hell of a street fight in the main event of Impact Wrestling. Now for those of you who haven't really been following along, Davey Richards recently turned heel on Eddie Edwards after Eddie was at kind of his low point having just lost the TNA World Championship back to Bobby Lashley. Uh, Richards is now kind of an evil, ruthless kind of guy under the control, it is implied, of his real life wife Angelina Love and they had a massive street fight in the main event of Impact where there was really a, a brutal spot where Angelina Love handcuffed Eddie Edwards' wife to the guardrail and then Edwards sort of protected her while Richards just laid into him with chair shots. This feud is really hot enough and it could be an excellent one. Could be, could I potentially be feud of the year, certainly in TNA. Could be in the run-in for feud of the year overall. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Phil, you're not going to believe this, but it's time for Meltzer. Just single Meltzers this time, if you could just... Mmm, love that Meltzer action. Delicious. Yes, Big Dave has awarded his most recent five snowflakes, five stars. Uh, he gave it to the main event of New Japan's New Beginning in Osaka, a kind of special event uh, between Tetsuya Naido and Michael Elgin for the Intercontinental Championship, which Naido won. It's a fantastic match. The pair of them have a great chemistry. They've had some great matches in the past. But according to Meltzer, this was the best one yet. There was lots of hard hitting stuff. Elgin was just throwing him round. Naido was doing his, you know, tranquilo thing. But as strong as his gimmick is, you also can forget that he's a fantastic wrestler as well. 
Uh, the event had some other good matches as well, some really good matches in fact. Uh, Takahashi and Dragon Lee had an unbelievable match for the Junior Heavyweight Championship where they took some really, really nasty bumps. They were like powerbombing each other out of the ring and back of their necks. Ooh. And elsewhere, uh, Shibata defeated Will Ospreay in another hell of a match. Um, watch it if you can. I was you know, delighted that Osprey lost. And if you don't know why, head over to the WCPW channel where you'll see that we haven't been getting along recently. There's a video of Will being a big old bully to me. Phil, you shot that video and you didn't, you just stood there. You just stood there and let him do it. But it was so much fun. It was so much fun. You could have got involved in some way. He did jump right on. Osprey, I'm not doing anything. F you. And finally, I'm going to cheat slightly and just sort of slip NXT into the other news section. I know, I know, it's technically part of WWE. But anyway, uh, Tyler Bate had his first defense of the, of the WWE UK Championship uh, this week on NXT against his tag partner and old friend Trent Seven. It was a good match. Uh, Tyler Bate retained in the end, but Pete Dunne is waiting in the wings. And there was a little clip of him there. William Regal was like, you're a bloody maniac, son. You be careful. And that was, my try that was me trying to do a serious William Regal impression. Pete Dunne will face Mark Andrews next week in his NXT debut. And finally, it's time for our takeaway. I think I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna stick to one takeaway from now on. That's the last, I'm never, I'm not gonna clarify that anymore. If any of you go, where are the second and third takeaways? It was hard to think of three, and, and I think it's better when we just focus on one. Let me know what you think in the comments of this week's takeaway, which is, who is your favorite one-time WWE champion ever? I go back to that list I did earlier in the video where I listed off every one, and just pick one. Just pick your favorite. Who was your favorite? Mine was probably, it was probably AJ Styles, the most recent one, to be honest. Oh, no. Um, Eddie Guerrero. There we go. Mine's Eddie Guerrero. That's all for this week on The Fast Count. I've been Jack from whatculture.com. You can follow me on Twitter at JackTheJobber. You can follow Phil at ChambersPhilip. But you don't really seem to do much on it. I looked at your Twitter. I don't. It's, are you an egg, Eva? Are you an egg profile? Uh, no, that's someone else. That's someone else. Okay. That was a different Chambers someone. Right, okay. And we'll see you soon.